Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It's another promo Friday in FIFA 21 Ultimate Team, and today it's Future Stars. Future Stars, week one. We'll see if there's a second week, but it starts today with some of the young talents across the world. We're going to get to see which of them get crazy, insanely boosted cards today on Friday in FIFA Ultimate Team. And again, first thing I want to do is take a look at the loading screen, talk about that, the card design as well that we've seen, but then also talk about the market movements that I'm expecting for today. Some of the stuff we've already seen yesterday with Team of the Year prices dropping a little bit on the market, icons being extremely high, and some of the market movements I think you'll see with this week's Team of the Week and other out of packs special cards and how we might be able to make some coins today, as well as predictions for content, right? It's a normal promo Friday, so you know we're getting some cards and packs. This is the loading screen that we had yesterday on Thursday. They added some players' uh, teasers to the front. Now, I think the way that it's looking right now, we can at least say that we know two of these and we're confident about two of these. We, we could still be wrong on all of them, but this has stats that could be Kulusevsky. This one could be Graven Birch or Javi Simons from PSG, and this one could be... Uh, Brandon Williams, left back Manchester United. That's my opinion. But honestly, it's, there's nothing set in stone with these three players, right? Those are not enough stats to really look at and say, hmm, we can really derive what this might be. Now, today, earlier, the Gravenbach card was one that a lot of people thought this middle one was going to be 89 rated with uh, the Dutch nationality. These cards are going to be good, right? They're going to cause some panic on the market today because people are going to go out and want to buy them for their teams. And of course, they're going to have juiced up stats as well. I just wonder if EA is going to do it like they did last year and in FIFA 19 and really juice it up. So we'll talk about that. Of course, the actual fully rendered card design was released into the code. I'm curious to see how the players look on this card design because it is very interesting. It's very different. Uh, so I'm excited to see how it looks today because that's a lot of, honestly, it's pretty dark, right? It's pretty dark with the blue. So we'll see how it looks today inside of FIFA 21. Now, of course, I'm sporting the Barcelona jersey today because we are thinking Ansu Fati, Serginho Dest, two players that could be in. Pedri, uh, Trincao, there's a lot of players in Barcelona that could be in. Uh, and so, you know, I'm kind of just hoping that EA senses those Barcelona vibes because I think a lot of people would like those cards in FIFA. But let's talk about the number one thing I think we're expecting today for content. Usually on the Friday, they always drop the objective player because they know they need to give people time to get that objective done. Now we have Grealish that is expiring today on Friday. Now I've got to do two more games uh, for Grealish and then I'm going to have him in my club. That's a GG. The messy loan also expires which I'm not that close on. Um, and then I think that is all the stuff that will be expiring tomorrow, which is Grealish and the Messi that will expire tomorrow. I would expect a Future Stars objective player today. And honestly, I would expect some sort of SBC. If EA knows what is best for this game, they will put out some SBC content. Now, of course, we have the Rooney that is out. The Ronaldo is still out. We have multiple icon packs that are out in this game. I think the mid icon, yeah, it's still here for a day. So I would expect maybe another icon SBC on Saturday. Sabitzer is still out. So there are plenty of SBCs to do in FIFA right now, um, which we'll talk about later for SBC fodder purposes. But I think they might release a Future Stars SBC today or on Saturday because earlier this week, if you remember, EA put out some tweets and said that they're going to be releasing a Future Stars SBC left back player from England. Sorry, a Future Stars striker from England. Future Stars striker. They put out some tweets and they had some voting. A Future Stars striker from England will be released as an SBC during the weekend. They didn't tell us what day that was going to be, but it will be at some point during the weekend. So let's talk about the market, right? If we're getting a team in packs, if it's an, a player's 11 squad, right? That's kind of how they've been doing promos this year. Um, 11 players in packs. If it's especially going to be a two-week promo, they'll do 11 and then 11 more. Then obviously an SBC and an objective. Um, what's going to happen to the rest of the market? Because a lot of the market right now is still high on these team of the year players uh, because a lot of people just bought these for their team. They're trying them out. They haven't even played a weekend league with these cards, right? They finished or maybe they bought them after weekend league. They want to try them out. So a lot of people still have these team of the year cards in their sites to play with uh, this weekend, right? Some of these cards are down though from where they were at their peak on Monday. It seemed like Monday was just the time. Sunday night and Monday was the high point for a lot of these cards. I guess Tuesday, if you look at Alfonso Davies' card, but some of these guys have dropped in the past 24 hours. Davies was 2.1 mil. And then, of course, with the Future Stars loading screen 
and people getting ready for uh, the weekend with future stars, panic selling down to 1.92. Now he's 1.97, but I would expect, honestly, a little bit more sell off on these cards. And this is why I expect a little bit of panic on, you know, most of the mid tier meta market today. I expect a little bit of that panic because these new cards that are going to be coming on FIFA today are so, like, we can't really predict what they're going to look like. We don't know you know, like um, what players are going to get in, right? There's so many different young talents in the world that could be getting into future stars that make this one of the biggest unknown promos heading into the actual date that we will see this year, right? There's really a lot of unknown as who's going to get in since there's so many youngsters out there. And that's going to cause a little bit of panic, right? Because people are going to know that, hey, if they release a big time left back or uh, one thing we've been kind of theorizing about is a flashback SBC back to a previous year's future star item. Now, somebody that hasn't got a, a special card this year, there's two people that I have in mind, Furlan Mendy and Millie Tao both had future star items in FIFA 19 and they both do not have special cards this year. EA knows that they just released the best left back in basically FIFA history with the team of the year Alfonso Davies. They could easily go out and juice an Amendi card or a Millie Tao, especially Amendi, put him in as an objective or an SBC. People would probably go and do that and that would affect that Davies price. Now, I'm not telling you to go sell Davies. I'm just saying that with these future star cards, the objective and the SBC players are probably going to be the ones that impact the market the most if they're good value. Also, when you get these new players out in packs today, these new future stars cards, whoever they might be, which by the way, EA has been adding some of them like into the code. And you can now actually search them in game. You weren't able to do that uh, before. This Javi Simons is one of those players. Um, so that's kind of one thing people have been finding inside of the game today. The one thing that I would say is just be careful of general market panic um, alongside of you know, the new cards that are in, in packs today. Now, if we take a look at last year's cards, right? Some of these guys, you know, we'll look at graphs in a second and look at prices. These guys are not going to be cheap. Unless EA messes up the pack weight, these cards are not really going to be that cheap, in my opinion. The pack weight's not going to be that high because these cards are pretty cracked. And EA is going to want to, you know, ride alongside of the hype um, and, and uh, make these guys maybe a little bit expensive day one, kind of like they were last year. But I'm saying a card like this Tamori, if this card came into the game today, what might you see? You might see, let's say Twan Zebe comes in the game today with a pretty cracked out card like this. You might see a little bit of panic selling on cards like Joel Gomez's Inform, Laporte Rule Breaker, right? Because Premier League is a very popular uh, league in this game and the Premier League center back position, people are always looking to try new cards and a lot of people run Premier League teams. So they're going to slot somebody in that team. Now, of course, we have said that this, this card right here might be Kulusevsky, right? Kulusevsky, unless he gets a position change, I think his base item is a right wing. So what would that do to like right wings in the, in the Serie A in FIFA? Well, we have Lozano, right? And then we have that Ronaldo SBC. People have done Ronaldo. So maybe there may not be as much of a desire for that Kulusevsky as a right wing if he is that position. So his card might not be that expensive day one. But... All I'm saying is all these players, and like we talked about in yesterday's video too, some of these players individually affect the market more than others, depending on their position, the rarity of that position, and in that league or nation specifically. Left back that is Brazilian, this Renan Lodi last year was a huge hit, right? There weren't that many left backs from Brazil. This Icone with the French nationality, he was very expensive, right? Because a lot of people wanted that French uh, link up with League One links to Mbappe and Neymar in their team. So all I'm saying is today with the, the cards that come out, I do think they'll impact the market a little bit, but I feel like the biggest impact will be through the objective card or through the SBC card if the SBC is good value. That's what, where you might see some of the quote unquote substitute goods getting sold off. I don't know if you'll really see a ton of panic selling today. Um, across the entire market unless the objective is crazy the SBC is crazy or the players they put out are like nuts um, but I do think since this market is very healthy you might see a bit of a dip and then of course a rebound I am expecting a big rebound tonight and you know if we look at these cards day one of last year this Sandro Tonali who was a nuts this is a nuts card last year this is the second highest from batch one this guy was two 1.2 million coins 
first day dropped off heavily after that down to about 900k then bounce back up a little bit. But these cards today are going to be expensive. Now, if a Kulusevsky comes today, maybe you could compare him to a guy like Rodrigo from last year. Uh, this guy was 1.3 mil day one, dropping down to the 800K range by the next weekend. So these cards really dropped a lot last year. I mean, the only thing I can't, you can't look at this year and last year and say that it's going to be the exact same. But what I'll say for this year is the high tier market is very expensive. People are willing to pay the big bucks for a hype card. Bruno Fernandez, team of the year, 4.4 million coins. This Alfonso Davies is the best left back we've ever had in team of the year, also the most expensive. 2 million coins for a left back. Almost, I, I don't think there's ever been a left back that's been over like 1.2 million holding price after team of the year. So that's kind of crazy, right? If you look at some of the icons as well, on the game this year, right? If we go index icon and just look at a few of them, one, uh, actually I'll just go in the game for this. One of the most popular mentions that I always make is this mid Maldini card. This guy is 2.2 million coins on this game. Last year, he was a million coins less. It's crazy how high some of this market is because of the amount of coins that are on this, this game this year. So again, I would expect the future stars guys to be really expensive today, day one, and that just might make people go back and buy their normal cards for their teams, which will make me even think more that there will be a nice market rise into the evening. Now, of course, speaking of upon icons, I'm a huge fan of watching icons today, whether it's baby icons, whether it's prime icons or mid icons, all of them, especially the babies. A lot of the baby icons right now are very, very inflated, but if you pick the ones that are very desirable that a lot of people like to use, they bounce around. Even like that baby Vidic, right? Baby Vidic, 85 rated card. He's like 400,000 coins, 500,000 coins still on this game, right? If you would see this guy down like 40, 50,000 coins this morning, that would be a huge buy in my opinion because again, it's a very rare baby icon that people like to use. Baby Soul Campbell, great. Again, another card I would keep an eye on. We still have this Rooney SBC that is out. A lot of the English icons are inflated in price. That would be another reason to watch some of those today to see if there is panic selling or to see if there is supply from these cards uh, during lightning rounds uh, because a lot of people are going to want to buy these so they can link Rooney together in their teams today. Now, speaking of SBCs one more time, let's take a look at SBC fodder, right? SBC fodder is pretty inflated. 84s or 7 K and above 85s are high 86s are stupid high and the high tier market on these cards Ter Stegen is 74,000 coins this guy last week at the start of team of the year was 48k 52k and he's up to 73k my only thought is I think today with the lightning rounds I do feel like depending on the amount of lightning rounds that EA put out with that supply if the SBC is not insane, I feel like it's almost inevitable that some SBC fodder drops a bit. But again, there's so much demand for SBCs right now in this game with the icon SBCs that are out, probably another future star SBC being released today or a flashback. I still think there's potential if there is a dip on SBC fodder today for it to rebound later in the weekend and still stay high because of all the SBC content that we have out in FIFA. So that would some, be something I would keep an eye on uh, for sure today. If you see a dip, it might be a short-term trading opportunity with that SBC fodder. And if you haven't sold it yet, like if you bought it during team of the year, I might take this opportunity to, ca to cash out, right? Because there's big money right in front of you. Um, a lot of people are trying to finish SBCs they may have started. And um, I do think that supply will, you know, put a little bit of pressure on that SBC market today. The other thing I do think that will be affected by supply today is this current team of the week. Salah for 1.2 million coins right now is up from where he was. This guy was down to 1.06 earlier today. He is rebounded up. Cancelo is up. Delaney is up. Lautaro Martinez is kind of chilling. I think these guys are going to get supply today and their prices are going to drop, but they will rebound later into the night tonight on Friday with the market kind of rising back. I think this is a lot of million coins today was really underpriced anyway, because his first in form is still 700 something K. Um, so keep an eye on this week's team of the week as well, as we usually do in packs on promo Fridays and then stuff that is out of packs that I would still keep my eye on, right? Some of these headliner cards that are live that bounce around a lot in price. This Zaha was four, he's 440 right now. He's been 400K this week. Ben Yedder scored two goals of the weekend. He's hyped up for a possible upgrade. You know what? If these guys drop, this Ben Yedder drops to the mid one fours, 
or stuff like that, or wrote to the final items. If they drop off at all today, Pugba's 700, he's down a little bit. These are cards that I would keep an eye on because the live items, the meta cards, and the rare cards are going to be the things that bounce back the quickest into the nighttime Friday night on FIFA. So in one sense, it's a normal promo Friday where we're expecting a lot of supply, we're expecting a lot of prices to move around, and also we're expecting a rebound, right? That's a normal promo Friday when we have those types of market movements. Now, one thing that I think is different about this promo Friday is this market is very rich still, this market has a lot of coins, and that means we could see some crazy high prices, but that also means that um, EA knows that they could take advantage of that, drop some insanely juiced Future Stars cards today, and you'll have a lot of people maybe selling some cards to go try a new Future Stars card, depending on those links, depending on the hype, and stuff like that. So, we're, it's going to be an interesting day on FIFA, man. I mean, EA, you kind of know that you're hanging on the ropes here because um, it's a fine line between what we thought was a very good uh promo for team of the year which we did not think so and then it seems like they're really trying to hype up future stars so kind of a curious day today to see what ea ends up doing with the content on a promo friday for future stars so i'm curious to see what happens i hope ea does not drop the ball today i do know for a fact there's going to be tons of ways to make coins again one thing i didn't touch on would be gold cards right mbappe is almost back to a mill neymar 755 you know these guys are probably going to get supplied a little bit because they are in packs today but even guys like this if they get panic sold in the morning gold conte gold varan these are going to be cards that will probably rebound pretty well into the nighttime um, as people again build their squads for weekend league and are using these guys in their weekend league game so i think you are going to see a little bit of panic selling oh by the way one other thing you're seeing a lot of dutch links that are very inflated quincy promise road to the final this dude's card is no longer live he transferred to spartak moscow Quincy Promise, I don't know if you guys know this, but Quincy Promise transferred to Spartak Moscow. He is no longer a live card because he is no longer at Ajax. This card will not get upgraded. I know that a lot of people think Graven Birch is coming out. This guy was 240 today. He has been inflated because of just pure link investments to these new cards. Be very, very careful with that if you already invested or if you invested in Dumfries or a Dutch icon. I would be careful with those today um, because they are a little bit over invested in. So just be careful of that kind of card and that kind of stuff right there. So it's a Future Stars Friday, man. I think we're going to get some dope cards today. I do expect a little bit of crashing in the morning. And here's what I'll say. If you're seeing crashing on a card that is a, an out of packs card that is very meta, like let's say record breakers, like record breaker Mbappe, record breaker Sancho, Vardy, cards like this. If you're seeing panic selling on big time meta cards like this today, uh, or just cards that are rare in general, some road to the finals, rule breakers, record breakers, headliners, stuff like that. I would say don't be afraid with getting involved in those cards before 6 p.m. UK, because the stuff that's gonna make the market crash post 6 p.m. UK, a lot of times the lowest points on the market are either before 6 p.m. UK with a content drop or in the first 30 minutes afterwards when people open saved up packs. There's not a lot of saved up packs today, so a lot of that panic will probably happen before. You'll be able to pounce on some of that and see the market rise later in the day because, again, this market is very healthy right now. We have a lot of coins in it post-team of the year with more packs being opened up today. There's just going to be a lot of coins out there. People are going to be willing to pay whatever it takes to get cards in their team. I'm excited to see the cards that we get today, right? That's the most exciting thing about Future Stars is just seeing which items we will be getting today in FIFA with the crazy upgraded stats, plus 20s on some of these cards, plus 10s, 15s, plus 20 in-game stats on a lot of these cards. It's going to be fun. It's going to be wild. We're going to be live on Twitch. That link is down in the description, of course, around the content drop time. So if you want to get on and check us out, we will be live there. If you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.